So growing up, uh, my life was kind of a mess. I, I had a mom and, and a dad who really loved me and cared about me, but I felt like it just wasn't enough. My school years were rough. Uh, I didn't have any friends, uh, and the friends that I did have like ditched me because I just wasn't cool enough for them. And I tried really, really, really hard to make friends, and I just couldn't. And it caused this brokenness and this loneliness inside of me. And then kind of to add to that, I was hanging out with my parents in the living room and one, one night, and we got this phone call from my grandma. And my grandma had said that my brother had been shot. And we were like, what? Like, like what's going on? And so we all were on our way to the hospital and we had found out that he was shot four times in the head. I think when tragedy happens or when someone's depressed, it's like they, they want to die. Like for me, I didn't want to die. I was freaked out about it. I thought about it all the time. I, I didn't understand the whole Jesus thing. But I knew somehow there was a God, and, and I asked him, like, hey, uh, please let there be life after death. Several years later, a friend of our family invited me to a church youth group. I'll never forget this. There was this, old, this big, tough biker dude got up and shared his story, how he gave his life to Jesus, and how he heard the story of, of Jesus, and how it changed him. And it blew me away because now I, I was somehow told that God wasn't this uh, distant God, but I could actually know him. And that blew my mind. And, and so I'm like, dude, I told my mom and dad, like, we got to start going to church now. Uh, my fear of death, that's one of the first things that went for me. Like, I was no longer afraid to die. Like, I knew that I was going to heaven. And I knew that like, I had a relationship with the God of the universe. Uh, but at some point I began to feel left out. Uh, just the age in my church, like everyone was married, everyone was older. Uh, I had some friends of mine that I knew that went to Metro. And I just decided one morning to invite myself. And so we went to church and it was in the God Love Sex series. And Jeremy was talking and he was praying at the end of the message and he was praying for those who were lonely. And somehow that, that really spoke to me because I was really struggling with loneliness at that. And somehow God used that to speak to me and that's what I needed to hear. Other than coming to follow Jesus, uh, Metro is the greatest thing that has ever happened in my life. I started going to Metro and I began to cultivate these friendships that was different than any other kind of friends I ever had because these friends actually believed in me and that blew my mind like I had friends who believed in me who put trust in me and asked me to do things that I thought I could never 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 do if you would have told me four years ago uh, that I would be communicating uh, God's Word from stage at, at a high school youth group like Alive and a, and a middle school youth group like Fuel and in churches in different countries I would have thought you were crazy and out of your mind. There's no way that would ever happen. There's no way God could use me like that. And he has. During my time here at Metro, God has done so much and has spoken so many things to me. But one thing uh, he laid on my heart is uh, my brother's murderer. Uh, I just felt one day that I need to write him a letter, like that he needs Jesus as much as everyone else does. In this letter, I told him that what God had done in my life, uh, that as terrible as the tragedy of, uh, of him killing my brother and that happening, uh, God chose to reveal himself to me through that. And that God could forgive him like he forgave me that my sin, uh, though I didn't kill anybody, was as deep as his. And he wrote me a letter back and told him like he was just blown away by it. Like, this is crazy, like this is unheard of. I don't really know what the full results of that letter has accomplished, um, but I know that God used that and spoke to that guy in an incredible way. I'm so thankful that God has used this church to grow me and to grow my faith and to lead me into doing things I would have never imagined. 
looking back on my life and all that had happened and all that God has done, it's a series of impossibilities after the next. There's no way I would be who I am today if God's grace hadn't reached down and rescued me. Uh, my name is Kevin Mathis, and I am Metro.